Hi, welcome to Nursing School Explained. And this first medication in the top 10 list of the most uh, prescribed medications in the United States. And the first one is lisinopril. Now, lisinopril belongs to a class of medications called ACE inhibitors, so that is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. And its indication is the treatment of hypertension, and it's also the first line treatment for heart failure. So keep that in mind, depending on whatever your patient needs it, many times hypertension and heart failure go together. As for an action, it blocks the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 by inhibiting this ACE angiotensin converting enzyme. And both of these act as a vasoconstrictor, so if we don't constrict the vessels, the blood pressure is going to get lowered. Most common side effects include a dry cough that can be quite nagging, angioedema, which is swelling of the tongue, which can, could be life-threatening possibly. Also, as with any hypertension medications, low blood pressure can be common. And then it can also um, um, have the side effect of agranulocytosis, so we'll need to take a close um, look at the patient's labs. As for nursing considerations and patient, patient teaching, I've bunched those together because many times they go together. So whenever we give an ACE inhibitor in the clinical setting, we always need to check the patient's blood pressure and heart rate before because that's prudent because we know the medication is going to affect that blood pressure. And because it works on the renal system, we need to make sure that their renal function as well as their electrolytes, especially sodium and potassium levels are normal so that we're not causing an imbalance when we're giving the patient this medication. Now, patient teaching is it could cause orthostatic hypotension, so we want to make, the, make sure to tell the patient to change position slowly when they get up, as well it could make them a little dizzy or drowsy. It could affect their blood sugar, especially during the first month as they're trying to get used to this medication. So being on top of the blood sugar will be very important. And ACE inhibitors are contraindicated in pregnancy and lactation. So if this is a patient who is of childbearing age, it is very important to make sure that they are on a reliable method of birth control. And if they are planning to become pregnant, to talk to their provider so that they can be switched to a different medication. Thanks so much for watching this video on lisinopril. If you want more detailed information on ACE inhibitors, where I go into a little bit more of these categories, check out the other video. I'll make sure to put it in the link below and also check out the other videos about the other top 10 medications. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon.